<laughs> Guess who's back? It's the Shovel Boys. The Shovel Boys here to move the herb bed a second time. <laughs> Jacques, does this feel familiar? Yeah, I think we've been here before, but it was over there. When we had to move the herb bed the last time, it was over there. We wanted to move it here. Why? Because we were building all these beds over here. Now we're moving the herb bed yet again <laughs> because honestly, I'm not even that mad. Honestly, I'm pretty jealous. So, yeah, I he's over here helping because I think he wants a little slice of what's to come, <laughs> and that is the epic greenhouse. That's what's going to be in this spot. This is a perfect spot for it. We got water running to it, not too hard to get electricity to it, totally. but something's in the way. And honestly, quite a few things are in the way because well, this is lemongrass and this is as tall as me. So we need to get to moving this. What we're going to try to do is discuss how to move plants that are established. You may lose some, but also maybe we'll do some propagation, totally. do some cleanup, do some trimming and pruning. So shovels up. Let's yeah, get to it, Jacques. Let's do it. So let me go ahead and, and take all the clips off, Jacques. Okay. And, and I can pull it through. You can pull through. So I got one, two, three, four. All right. There's one line. Oh, no, there's five. Oh, that's good coverage. All right, I got three so far. There's one at the tail end of that corner too. Oh, okay. And then so I... now that Jacques's out on this side, what I'm gonna do is start taking the plants out and I'm gonna try to get as much of the root ball as possible. So first with this oregano, you kind of just want to make like cutting motions first. So instead of trying to dig it out, you're almost coring out a sample. And it's really not the end of the world if you don't get the entire root ball. You just gotta get enough of it so that upon transplant, the plant actually has a chance to live. First, lemongrass, you're gonna, or the oregano, oh, grab that. That's a pretty good root ball. It's a great root ball. Should we throw them on some trays, maybe? So there's one. It smells good. Now, I think what's gonna go are the nasturtiums. Uh, yeah. it's, it's very They'll difficult. It's, it, you're not gonna be able to transplant those that well, and we have a ton of cool nasturtium varieties that we have yet to experiment with that we just planted. So we'll let them go in spring, They'll come back like yeah. full force. It's so you're good with me to start ripping? Yeah, let's start ripping those. Let's actually start doing that first because they see how they kind of snake through. Yeah. This is what makes an herb bed look so good is that when things establish, they intermingle and sort of snake. So you've got this lavender here and then this nasturtium is kind of making its way. I think that looks really cool personally. And hopefully when we replant, we'll get back to that point. But I mean, look, this is just a seed dropping that, <laughs> yeah. that started once again because it clearly grew from a little seed. It's not like an offshoot of a larger one. We'll give some of this to the hens. I think if we overloaded them with nasturtium, a little too peppery on the might, eggs. might be a bit much for their uh, <laughs> their sensitive beaks. Yeah, they definitely like the nasturtium, but I think it's a little much. Yeah, I agree. So this bed's going to look a lot different once this lemongrass comes <laughs> yeah. out. I'll tell you that much. But something that we did actually, Paul on the team threw some onions down in here. See these little shade onions. Oh yeah, I think so, those are the the garlic chives. Garlic chives. So I think we're gonna save these if we can. Let's see if I can pull up propagation out. Well, there you go. I just went out the base yep. and just pulled out a perfect propagation, it even has a root. That's perfect. So, and if you really want to, for prop for prop's sake, you actually just go ahead and do that. And that then they there. don't have to support an entire leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it smells really good. It does. This is something I could huff. Yeah. Remember back Big in the time. day they said don't huff that stuff? Did they like, say just that? say no? That was the era that we were in. Like just say no to, to drugs. <laughs> the markers. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do those Dare, magic all that markers. Stuff. Ooh. Now this is something I say just say yes to. <laughs> this one I'd be saying yes. I'm gonna start digging out the garlic chives. Now this was interesting. We had this sort of dead zone because the the lemongrass, as you can see, has has <laughs> torn up a lot of the bed. It's taken up a lot of space. So we threw these garlic chives in a shaded area. They transplant well in the shade and they've just kind of languished. They, they haven't done terrible, not done amazing, but they're still here. And by the time we transplant them, they're gonna be, I, I would say doing pretty well. I think I'm gonna just try this move right here. And actually in this case, Jacques, the root systems of these are pretty, oh wow, pretty nice. So I think we, if we do like a hold in place and backfill around type technique, yeah. we'll be good. I think I'm gonna come in from the other side. Sometimes, you know, brains are a little bit better. Oh, okay. Brains better than bronze. Sometimes. Interesting. I've never had to like think about that dilemma as soon as I have both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really curious if this will take if we do it again. I think it will. But it, it looks pure. Like I haven't ripped any of the roots, no. you know? So as long as we plant it in like a reasonable time frame, we'll be all right. You wanna actually grab your shovel yeah, and try you wanna, to pop this section you out? You wanna crack? 
I haven't cut this side yet. Is that a grub? It is. Oh, gross. Oh, I think it's uh, I think it's right here. Hold yeah. On. There. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Woo. Let's hold up this Put that to the side. Put that to the side. We gotta take a picture of it. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> you look like cousin it. <laughs> Dude, that's a massive lemongrass. That's grass. so crazy. All right, well, rosemary. <laughs> it looks pretty this decent. This rosemary now. looks amazing though. It actually does look really good. It actually good. looks amazing. When I transplanted my rosemary, yeah, it like froze for like six months. No way. Didn't do anything. Wonder and then why. it started regrowing. Ooh, that rosemary looks good, dude. <laughs> it looks really good. So remember last time we did this, the African blue basil? Yeah. It's kind of living that same sad life. I think it's a reset and not a... You don't want to try? I think it's a pull and reset. Okay. It's too scraggly, too dead. Yeah, and that's true. And we could prop that really easily with a couple of these cuttings, I think. Yeah, I agree. And just reset it. So a little bit ago, we did a bit of a hedge cut on this. Oh yeah. Paul came through and did a hedge cut, which I think looks really good. Help even it out a bit. And now when we replace it, you can see it's a little misshapen when it's not right, in the exact spot side. it was supposed to be in. And so we'll have to just like figure out where to place it. Sure. Now this is the question, Jacques. There's like streaming. It looks like an oregano. And it's very scraggly. Wow, it's everywhere. Kind of overgrown. So, but look in the middle. It's got it's, all that new growth. The middle seems okay. If we just like cut all that. I feel like we out. core this off and put the, the new cluster in, you know? Yeah. That might be a pruning job before we're an excavation yeah. job. I'll, I'll get on it. There's something about resetting an herb bed to me that I really like. Yeah, and actually. And this time at least we did it at the right time. We're doing it right going into spring, right. not coming out of, of winter. <laughs> yeah, did we do it, was it winter when we, we did, did it, it We did it like in fall. It I wasn't think. happy. Yeah. But it did it obviously bounce. It was suboptimal. So we've got it back here by our asparagus bed, which is gonna come up pretty soon. And because I am the way I am, I need to know that it's the same <laughs> distance from the bed. So I'm gonna do, in this particular case, yeah, I think three feet's probably fine. So I'll bring it in just about a couple inches or so here. And I also, because it's shorter than this bed, I want it to bisect in the center of the length of this bed. And that's just how I am, Jacques. And I know you don't respect it. <laughs> I don't respect it. I let the nature, I let the, I let the plants do the raw. I give them structure and they break the structure. It's a little <laughs> dance we do. Because <laughs> it's just different parenting methods. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. You're more of a... Helicopter parent. <laughs> <laughs> the only downside, guys, of this placement is that it is far from the house. Yeah. And ideally, you want your kitchen herb garden pretty damn close, but it's not a big deal. We come out here all the time. By the way, guys, if you're wondering where Bobka is, we are too. We haven't seen her in about a month and a half, so we don't really know what happened. Unfortunately, we've also at the same time, Jacques, Seen coyotes around. A lot of coyotes. In the daytime. Yeah. One, one even in your backyard. Yeah. And so, honestly, I don't have the highest of hopes, but Bobka's a pretty crazy cat. Like, she's pretty agile and like, fierce. Yeah. So we're sort of hoping that someone took her in and just has really well kept her from, yeah. from now on. That's you know? what I'm going to. Uh, it's the myth I'm choosing think, to believe. Yeah, and she's always on the wall forever, so. Reminds us of a certain project we were doing, huh, Jock? <laughs> yeah, it does. Recently, I've done this project. Move. Did this move a lot on that project too. Tennessee. I'll tell you that. A little uh, top secret project. Comes little barbecue. Out Comes out soon on the main channel. <laughs> it smells good. I don't mind so, that. It's on to pruning now and trimming down. And I think also thinking about placement this time, yeah. we could get a little better. Like you wouldn't probably put the lemongrass right in the middle this Maybe time. Maybe towards the back. Put it in a corner. Your big bushers, put them in a corner so that literally, if you think about like the a circle, 270 degrees of them is outside the bed, right? One way to think makes about sense. it. Makes sense. Kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna do that with this guy right here. Yeah, it looks like, so you have the marjoram and then I have the thyme. What I'm gonna do is basically, I'm gonna just lop off all this stuff over here that's dead. Yep. And there's not that much green growth that it can't support it, but I might bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna do a bit of a shaping trim on this. Okay. Cause I don't want this uh, kind of scraggly look here. Yeah. 
So what do you think about time? Where do you want this guy? Over time here? Time grows a little more upright in this habit, so it could be more in the middle instead okay. of the corners, I think. But I do like this marjoram right here. Honestly, this plant looks so nice. I don't <laughs> want to. so good. I really don't want to, to uh, prune it down much. Yeah. And I love the idea of it being closer to the house. Okay. So maybe actually that right corner. There. Oops, sorry. Okay. This got you there. Oh, I actually got stabbed. Whew. Okay. Yeah, where to begin? Yeah, I haven't I haven't ever grown one to this size, dude. <laughs> this one's this one's just crazy. Should we just split it down the middle? I think you just gotta start ripping it, you know? Okay, so Jacques, actually what I think I'm gonna do is remove almost all the lemongrass except for a small cluster like this. Oh yeah. And just replant the small. Oh, uh, so just split off a root ball? I think I'm just gonna do that. Seems like a good And then the time. rest of it I'll process at some point in time, but right now I think we just gotta get this in the ground. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prop like a couple of these African blue basils. They're really easy to prop. This is like a, one of these weird plants that's actually sterile. So even though it's covered in flowers and seeds, they won't actually do anything. So I'm gonna just, they root really easy, so it's no problem. But all I'm doing is wherever there's a leaf node, taking off the leaves, and that's the part that you wanna make sure is actually buried in the soil, because that's where the roots are gonna come from. So that'll be something later. Probably take two weeks to get rooted up, and we should be good to go. What is this, a trunk? <laughs> what is this? Dude, it looks all pulpy too. So to make these go in real nice and clean, what I'm going to do is make their lives easier on them basically. Oh, you're using the sixes. They feel good. Little baby boys. Little ergo. So I'm going in. If I try to tr transplant that in as is, simply way too much uh, plant tissue for these roots to support, they would, they would for sure die. Yeah, they would dry out. You good for me to start popping some of these in the ground? I say start popping. All right. Once I pop, I don't stop the whole sunset pop <laughs> sesh. So what'll happen is they'll just grow little side shoots out, kind of like this. It'll be like this, and it'll go whoop, and it'll just start coming out. Yeah, it's funny because it doesn't clump. come from the same spot, really. You know what? So it's like my energy drink. A little. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> so this looks a little sad now, but it's all good. <laughs> yeah. I remember last time when we did this. I was like, Ugh, I don't know if this is gonna work. It just doesn't, you don't have the confidence, you know? And then it comes in, <laughs> comes in at the end there. So I'm just using my fingers to kind of force some of these roots down into the actual soil. So they're not just sitting on the surface here. You know what, Jacques? Hmm? I've got a couple herbs over here. Pop them over. Rosemary, Huntington carpet, purple sage. I'm here for it. We don't have the sage, do we? No. I just mad handed this. <laughs> <laughs> a little sage action. A little scoop of sage. It probably goes nice, right? It will get. Central. It'll be a big boy, but no central fork. Yeah. What do you think on this lavender? <sighs> I'd go there. Up front? Yeah. I'd go there. With That's it. what I was yeah, thinking. For sure. Nice match up with the rosemary. Yep. Get this little clump. <laughs> <laughs> little sad guy. I don't know. That it's one's a straight clump. I don't know if you need it. <laughs> it's just. It's like one of those cow pies. <laughs> yeah. or something. It just has like this sort of weird vibe to it. It's all over the place. That's yeah. for sure. Honestly, like, I'm at a loss for like quite what to do with this because <laughs> it's it's so it's so like it's just kind of blob blobular. Blobular. I don't know. I just That's don't a like good it. Word. I, I, I like actually that. don't like it. If you don't like it, it's set going it free. to the chickens. I don't like it. I decided that. You know what I'm actually gonna do? A little surprise. Uh oh. I'm gonna put in some onions. Honestly, you can never have too many onions. They barely take up any space. Well, the, the crazy part is we, we just planted way too many this year. Yeah. You know, so I'm gonna just fill the rest of this in. That gives me time for the oregano and assorted herbs that I have yet to plant to start out. And then I'll just hot swap those in when I'm ready. I'm personally a huge fan of these guys. Yeah, I, I love those guys. I'm gonna definitely throw these guys in. To me, an herb bed is almost like a flex bed. <laughs> you know, like you got some stuff What's so funny about that? <laughs> the flex bed. The flex I haven't bed. heard that one. Well, here's the thing. Like, I don't have all my herbs ready yet. And yeah. I don't want to go to the store and buy some. I just want to grow from seed. Oh, um, I see what you mean. So I'm just going to grow something, some random extras in here. Yeah. Until such point when I can fill it in. Honestly, yeah. When flex. you're like, when somebody's like, where's the basil? You're like, pop out the back door. You know where it is. Why don't you, uh, Why don't you find 50 it? feet that way, my friend? <laughs> you know? <laughs> You know what it is? Is it's like it's like a mesh, right? Like if you pull straight right. up, it works. Oh. But if you pull to the side, friction. It's a little bit it's of like, science. It's, it's a little physics shock. I don't know if you're if that was your special. I went pretty not. far in it, you know. Yeah. Did but, you? But let's just say I forgot a lot. I'll tell you this. I've only gotten in high school 
I got A pluses in every single class ever, except for physics, in which I got a B. So I can respect that. Honestly, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I'm a little disgraced by that. <laughs> the only class that I actually uh, didn't get an A in in community before I transferred. Uh oh. Psychology. Oh, that does not surprise me. I wasn't ready. I'll tell you that much. I, I need an answer, and then I'm out. So you're just going like that, right? Yeah, I'm laying them down, and then. So I'm gonna go size style. This is the uh, the old higgledy piggledy. Yep, yep, it's true. You might have not heard that one before, but yeah. no, no, it's a little bit of a Bulgarian thing. <laughs> I haven't heard it. <laughs> I want to go. I'll take you. I'd like to go. If you take, if you, if we go together, though, it's got to be. We got to do like a travel show. Yeah, a hundred percent. Because that would be. I'll tell you what. Oh my God, dude. You better start off uh, with 10 pounds no, you're willing to share because no, uh, it's no, gonna need, go up. No, this is what you need to listen to right now. I've thrown, I've thrown three of those in a row at perfect spacing. Now, can I do the fourth from this distance? I think you can, I've seen you throw. That's actually, <laughs> they call me the sniper of San Diego. Like, like, why not just one more for good measure? Oh Ooh. my God, that's, that was a little bad. That was, that was decent. It was decent, but it was a little bad. The herb bed is in, the sun's getting low. We did this again to prepare for the greenhouse that's coming in. Eight foot by 10 foot from BC Greenhouse is gonna be on our main channel, so make sure to subscribe. If you haven't heard the word yet, pretty much anything in this bed, you can grab at Botanical Interests, which is our seed company. We acquired Botanical Interests. Incredible honor, very excited about it. So check that out. Until next time, good luck in the garden. Keep furrowing and keep on growing.